Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's having a blessed day. I pray that you are doing well. And before I get started, I want to thank all my subscribers, all 89 of my subscribers who are faithful in listening to the teachings of Jesus Christ. Know that the Lord is faithful to keep his word and know that his word is truth and life. So with that being said, guys, I want to talk about a subject that has been in my heart and I want to share it with you guys. So recently I just had a dream and let's just say that this dream um, had a person who was pooping right in front of the church members. So, um, and that was it. So I want to share a few scriptures that um, talk about dung, poop. So if you turn with me to Jeremiah chapter 8, verse 2, and they shall spread them before the sun and the moon and all the hosts of heaven whom they have loved and whom they have served and after whom they have walked and whom, whom they have sought and whom they have worshipped. They shall not be gathered nor be buried they shall be for a dung upon the face of the earth. Please turn with me to Jeremiah chapter 9, verse 22. Speak, thus saith the Lord, even the carcasses of men shall fall as dung upon the open field, and as the handful after the harvestmen, and none shall gather them. Turn with me to Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 4. They shall die of grievous deaths. They shall not be lamented, neither shall they be buried, but they shall be as dung upon the face of the earth, and they shall be consumed by the sword and by famine, and their carcasses shall be meat for the fowls of heaven and for the beasts of the earth. And lastly, turn with me to Jeremiah chapter 25, verse 33. And the slain of the Lord shall be at the day from one end of the earth, even unto the other end of the earth. They shall not be lamented, neither gathered nor buried. They shall be dung upon the ground. So first of all, guys, I think everybody know what dung is. D-U-N-G. Dung means poop. Kaka. Okay. I'm just going to get straight to the point. So for me to see this visual in my dream about a person pooping in front of the church, it was a church member who was pooping right in front of the church. So what I got out of that dream was that God wants to get rid of our impurities. Do you have poop in your life? Now, this could be spiritual, okay? So I know that after we eat, our body excrements poop, okay? It has to get rid of the waste, okay? But when we have sin in our lives, God wants to get rid of our sin. He wants to get rid of the poop that's making us kind of smelly, okay? So when you poop, when you literally poop, it smells, right? Well, that's just how it is in the spiritual realm. When you sin, when you do wrong, when you go after the devil's work, when you backslide, when you rebel against God, you start smelling like poop, okay? Like caca, okay? So God wants us to get rid of all our impurities. He wants us to be holy like he is holy. We cannot function correctly. We cannot walk with God in holiness if we have poop in our lives spiritually. If we have sin in our lives, okay, we begin to stink. And people, after a while, will begin to smell that as well, okay? So I think it's important for us to perfume ourselves with God's 
holiness. When we seek the Lord, when we seek his kingdom and his righteousness first, all things shall be added unto us. When we seek him, we become like perfume unto his nostrils. We, come, we become like incense to him, okay? He wants us to be pure. He wants us to be holy. Our vessels should be holy. It should not be full of impurities and poop. And I'm talking spiritually, guys, okay? God created our bodies to be pure. Yes, we are not perfect. We are going to make mistakes, okay? And I'm not saying we're, we are not tempted because we we live in a fallen world and there's sometimes temptation all around us, okay? But God gives us the grace to pray against that type of temptations in the world, okay? Jesus was tempted by the devil, while he was fasting, I don't remember what chapter, but it talks about how Jesus was tempted by the devil to do certain things. And Jesus quoted scripture to Satan. The only way to keep from temptation is to read God's word. The devil always attacks the mind and he tries to tempt us to do ungodly things. And we know that it is wrong, but we decide and we make free will and choices to do ungodly works. And when we do ungodly works, we glorify the devil. We should not glorify the devil. We should glorify Jesus Christ. Our body, our bodies are like the temple. For the Holy Spirit to dwell in our bodies, we must be pure and holy. We know that Jesus is coming for his people and his remnant. Yes, Jesus is coming. There is a second coming of Christ. Jesus Christ is coming. We have to be holy and pure because God is coming for a pure bride. He is not coming for someone who is unclean and filthy. Okay, so we have to leave our filthy rags behind and put on the new man. We have to put the new attire. We have to do some changes, not only mentally, but physically and spiritually. When you draw closer to God spiritually, your wardrobe will start changing into a new wardrobe. You get rid of the old and you put on the new. Okay, we must be clean before God. If we make a mistake, then we can repent and say, Lord, I'm sorry that I was tempted to do this. Please forgive me for sinning against you. If you have issues with pornography and you know you do, then ask God, Lord, please forgive me for watching that type of unclean thing. Or if you have problems with drugs, Lord, give me the grace to quit uh, smoking or quit doing things that I'm not supposed to, that I know it's bad for my body. Because in reality, guys, when you put bad things into your body, it's going to mess up, you know, the functioning of your body physically, not just spiritually, but physically. So guys, I just want to put that thought across your mind. Please keep yourselves pure and clean the best, the best uh, way that you can by um, reading his word and drawing closer to him. Okay. Um, ask God to give you the grace. Okay. We're not perfect. We do make mistakes, but we can pick up ourselves and continue to walk in holiness and purity before the Lord. So let's get rid of the poop in our lives. Let's get rid of the caca. Let's get rid of the dung. And with that being said, guys, I hope this message blessed you. And I pray that you have a blessed week and a prosperous week and a miracle week in Jesus' name. Shalom.